Well, hi, lemonade drinkers. This is Marty from the Health System. I thought that in today's world, uh, it would be good for me to uh, try to relieve a little anxiety by giving you 10 tips for relieving anxiety. All right, let's jump right into it. Number one, focus on things you can control, such as your thoughts and behaviors. Um, I'm not always so good at that, uh, but you know, People like me, we try to fix things a lot, and let's just try to think about those things that we can control. Number two, keep the big picture in mind. We will get through this. There is light at the end of the tunnel. We don't know how long the tunnel is yet, but we know there's light there, and we know we will get there. Number three, remember the size of the news coverage does not always equal the size of the threat. Keep that in mind as you watch the, the many news uh, stories that are out there. Number four, let wisdom and logic guide you. Some of you might be better than that, than others with that, but try to let that wisdom and logic guide you. Number five, good luck with this one. Turn to reputable sources for your news. My suggestion, maybe look at a couple different stations. Balance a couple things out. And don't get caught in a rut like I do sometimes with looking at sing singularity of your source. Number six, control how often you check the latest news. We can inundate ourselves with this stuff 24 hours a day if we want. Be careful how much exposure you have to these kinds of stories. Number seven, model peaceful behavior for those around you. Remember, eyes are watching. Number eight, evaluate your own health behaviors and be a model for others, including children. For all you couch potatoes out there, some of this social isolation and distancing does not mandate you stay on the couch. Uh, you can get outside, walk, exercise, do those kinds of things. And so evaluate your own health, including in that proper dieting and proper nutrition. Number nine, feeling too isolated. Maintain digital connections with people, family, friends. It's important to stay in communication with others. And number 10, don't let fear influence your decision, such as the hoarding of supplies. We will get through this. You need supplies surely to, to operate, to live, to, to just conduct life. But you don't need six months worth of toilet paper, folks. And uh, the grocery stores and Walmarts of the world sure don't look like that's the case today. So hopefully these have helped eliminate a little bit of anxiety in your life. And when in doubt, have a lemonade. Cheers.